Okay, I have got it recording. Bring your computer to me and we'll work it out. There you go, that's what I'll do. Okay, so I'm going to do this Julie Aldridge style. Today is Tuesday night, April 19th. It's 9.08 p.m. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, tonight our call is going to be on informing and inviting. So before we start that, uh, last two weeks ago we talked about host coaching. So I just wanted to follow up with the two of you that are not directors on this call, well, three of you that are not directors on this call, to see how you guys did with uh, the host coaching and if you were able to take the, did you assign them, I should have taken notes when you did the last call, Jennifer, did you assign them the host factor? I, wait, I don't have my notes with me. Um, yeah, I assigned homework. Okay. There's an MP3 that is on um, Consultants Corner, and I wanted to show you guys. I'm probably going to have to sign back in so I can share my screen. Um, oh, wrong thing. Hold on. At the bottom, you can hit share screen. Yeah, I just need to sign back in to Pampered Chef because I've been away too long. Oh, but, right. um, it's going to log me out. I'm going to have to sign back in anyways. So I did want to show you where you can find all of the homework that we're going to be assigning. So give me a minute just to sign back in. I'm sorry if I look like a very white ghost. <laughs> I've got extra lights going on around here. We can get one of the makeup. Little contouring here. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Yeah. So they have like this light ring that they put up around their so Really? Uh, okay, well, I'm going to share my screen with you guys, so it's going to make my screen look all crazy. So let's share this. We'll go to this page. Share okay, so can you guys see what I have over here where I've got our, where you sign in and you see all of your um, resources? Yep. Okay, yes. So when you're on this screen, if you go to news and events, and this is where all of your homework is going to be listed, you're going to click under training events. And then under training events, it's going to give you over here to the left. It's going to give you overview, national conference, executive seminar. You're going to click on the home office training events 2015. And then this actually breaks it all down for us. So you'll see over here where it's got all of these resources. What the program that we're doing is called Director Bound. So it's all right here. When you click the plus sign, it's going to bring up everything that you need for each call that we've done. So when we're talking about our, our prospecting away from your shows, it's got all of these outline cards for you. That two bookings from every show that I did with you guys um, at call number two, it's got that visually on here for you. And then at anything time it has this little symbol with the little volume, that is an audio file. You can download those to your phone. Um, you can download those to your computer. You can listen to them streaming right from here. So that way you have access to them. So if you haven't had a chance to listen to Bookings Abound, to listen to the host factor, that was the MP3 that was on last week's call. It's going to give you some host coaching word choices here, that 24-hour script. So tonight uh, we're doing call number four, which is inform and invite. So it's going to kind of go over all of the things that you have access to. And I know when I talk to you guys about booking at shows, I told you where to find those show outline cards. If you haven't already downloaded them and printed them off, they are here for you again. You'll see they're up here with call number two. It's the same document. They're just showing you, hey, still use those things. They're good. It's also going to give you that 24-hour call script again for how to do this for the recruiting side, which is what we're doing here. And then your homework, and I'm going to assign it now so I don't forget to give it to you later. Your homework before we meet next week is to listen to this top recruiters tell all. It's an audio file, it's like 20, it's been a while, so I will listen to it again. It's between 20 and 35 minutes long. Don't quote me on the time because I can't remember. But this is going to be right here for you, so you can listen to it. But tonight we basically want to cover the differences between informing someone about the Pampered Chef and inviting them to the Pampered Chef. So we're going to do this as uh, an open call. So if you have an idea of what it means to inform someone, go ahead and shout it out. But not all at once. I don't know how to make this not. I am assuming you're asking people that are not directors, but since they're not yeah. answering. Yes, I'm asking. 
my guess would be that you're just letting them know what it's about. Yes. Just telling them about the pamper chip business. You are. So you're just basically going to be creating interest. So it's those calls when you're saying stuff um, like, oh my gosh, I love my job. I get to do, I get to cook for people for a living. This is so easy. Did you know I can earn a trip? Isn't that so cool? You're just kind of informing. You're planting those little seeds that's going to create interest so that they can ask you questions later. And when you are inviting them to Pamper Chef, you're really inviting them to learn more. You might not necessarily be inviting them to sell yet, but you want to invite them so that they can learn more about the business. So it's a great way to, um, you know, it's a great way to kind of answer those questions. And you can also use the work choices uh, like I'll sometimes use, you know, let's just get together and talk and see if Pampered Chef could be a good fit for you and if you're a good fit for Pampered Chef. Because then it's almost like an actual legit job interview process. So, you know, kind of go from that. So, some, you know, so informing might sound similar to what we were talking about in our booking at shows because it's also going to be where you're going to do that strong opening. Do you guys remember that from the cards? Let me see if I can unbury mine. I should have, you know, had this ready. Sorry, string one more kids. Um, I can pull it back up. Okay, so the strong opening on those show outline cards. If the link works, try this one. Nope, don't click the link on camera mm -hmm. chat. That doesn't actually take you there. But the strong mm -hmm. opening would basically say stuff up along the lines of who you are how long you've been doing Pampered Chef, but they can watch what you do tonight to see if they might want more information about Pampered Chef as a company. So the strong opening, again, you can use those cards. If you did not have them come in your consultant kit, and I'm just looking to see if they're visually somewhere next to me and they're not, so I'm moving on. Um, but it's where you're inviting them to watch what you do. Um, you want to also reiterate those we talked a lot about the booking word choices when we did that call, but on that show outline cards, it's also going to have some recruiting tips for you. So it's going to give you some word choices to say, uh, to drop hints about the business. So I'm going to put you guys on the spot and go ahead and say, and say, give me a couple of like little one liners of things that you would say to people at your shows about Pampered Chef as a business. April, you're up first. Oh, God. I don't do well put on the spot. <laughs> I know, that's why I did it. Hey, Lisa, welcome. Gosh. All right, one-liners about Pampered Chef? Yes, about joining the company. Um, well, I, don't, I mean, I did a vendor event on Sunday, and something like that came up, and, and one of the... Uh, girls that I was talking to was talking about how she liked all the stuff and I just need all the stuff. And so then I just said, Oh, well, that, this is a good time. You could um, join the business and sell Pampered Chef and then you could get most of all of it for free. There you go. Oh, um, Tiffany is using the chat feature because she is probably got the baby sleeping somewhere nearby. She says, I'm so excited about being able to earn money and stay home with my baby girl, who is adorable, if you have not already seen her on Facebook. <laughs> she is precious. Some of the word choices, and I'm going to share my screen with you guys again real quick because I pulled up the show outline card. So on these show outline cards... Uh, there we go. It has right here, offer the business opportunity. If you had as much fun as I did, let me know. I know you didn't come here looking for a job. Neither did I when I attended a party like this, but I am so glad someone offered this to me and I'd love to talk to you more about it. Super simple. You can make it as casual as you want to. Um, you know, and then if you're in a hurry, come see me right away and I'll check you out quickly. Enjoy. Oh, that's not, we don't care about that one. Sorry, let me touch screen the rest of this. Um, so we talk about the this opportunity again this is why you're actually during your show so I watched how much fun you were having and loved how comfortable you were leading your station through the recipe did you love it what are they gonna say no they're gonna be like yes that was so much fun you want them to say yes a few times because then when you ask them about joining they've already said yes to several other questions ask them about hosting they'll say yes um, so, and then, you know, I thought, so you should give some thought about doing what I do. You know, Pampered Chef has completely changed my life. If Pampered Chef has not completely changed your life yet, don't use those words. We're going to ask you how it has, and you're going to be like, um, um, you know, like, cool stuff. 
use your real story. So if this doesn't work for you, if you say, you know what, I am brand new at this, but I am having so much fun. I would love for you to come check it out with me. And then you can kind of, you know, fuddle through it together and say, you know, we're going to learn together and that's totally okay. But these are in those station style rest. You know, you can have these with you printed off if you didn't already get them in your new consultant kit. You can have them with you because it's going to give you some great resources for your group LO, for your simple selling, definitely for your recruiting seeds that you want to do. So um, when you're explaining, you know, you want to be implementing those recruiting messages like we talked about um, throughout throughout your demo. So as you're talking to someone and they are and they're excited about using this product. Oh my gosh, this manual food processor is fantastic. I would say something like, you know, that guy comes in your new consultant kit and that's like half the price of that thing. Isn't that awesome? Super simple. Move on to the next little group that's working. So um, another thing is to be a great eavesdropper. So I know it's probably horrible. Your mama told you not to eavesdrop because uh, it's not nice. But at your shows, you want to be someone who is listening for those cues and what I mean by the cues are those people who say oh I I would never be able to do what you do that's not them saying that they can't do what you do that's them saying I want to do what you do but I don't know how I could make that possible for my family so listening for what pampered chef would call those red flags um, another thing would be well you just are always so busy because they're, they're watching you and they're seeing how busy you are and they want to know, okay, I'm busy like you are. How are you making this work? So you want to be listening and, and being the best eavesdropper in the room, you know, kind of listening but not commenting yet. And when you have them for your full service checkout, you want to be able to address those concerns and say, you know, Jennifer, when we were over there working, I know that you said I work a ton of hours and I'm kind of crazy. Yes. But you know you don't have to do work like I do when you're if you decide to do something like Pampered Chef, right? Or what really? Yeah, you can work this business as much or as little as you want. If you only did one show a week, you know you can make an extra four to five hundred dollars a month. So doesn't that sound like very non-threatening? And keyword choices mm -hmm. if you only did one show a week. Because then they're like, oh well, I could do that. And you're not setting them to that minimum mentality of Oh, I only have to do one show a month to stay active. I only have to do one show every two months to keep my sales. You're not working towards those minimums. You want to be able to work towards bigger numbers and teach your team to work towards bigger numbers. That's part of this whole process is not only the uh, do as I say, but do as I do. You know, you want to be leading them by that strong example. Um, so it's talking about how you want to share the business opportunity during the shop and share. How many of you guys are using the station style show where you're having them cook in all the stations and then talk about it? Is everyone doing that show style to understand what I'm saying? Thumbs up. Well, I, don't, I don't get a lot of cooking shows. Most of the people that I talk to always want to do Facebook shows. So I've had a very few amount of cooking shows. Okay. Do you find I, that I mean, Facebook shows are successful? Um, some of them are. Some of them aren't. It, it just depends on the, you know, it depends on the host partly really they they it make really it and i found well, that out just this last couple of weeks <laughs> mm -hmm. the host makes all the difference in the world if they're not commenting if they're not tagging their friends if they're not sharing the event you'll never see a penny from that show i mean i say that you will but it's you it's a lot better when your host is involved um so but have you have you tried offering the business to your facebook hosts um, yes, sometimes I forget when I kind of get caught up in it, but um, I try to remember to go back and do that. Okay. The easiest way to do it, honestly, is to remind them that they have a kit credit option. You're getting ready to close out their show. You're saying, April, oh my gosh, this online Facebook party was crazy easy. We spent like seven days online posting stuff and you have like $800 in sales. Did you know that I just made like 230 bucks on your show? just for sitting here posting stuff online, you know as a host, you can use 25 or $50 of your free money that you're earning towards your new consultant kit. Have you ever thought about doing something like this? Mm -hmm. Very simple. If she says, no, I'm good, say, that's fine, I'll take all your money. They usually laugh, it's nice. <laughs> you can laugh, it's okay. Um, but you do wanna make it very conversational. And when you, and your host, you know, typically, I think the statistics are, 
you know, somewhere in the 80 to 95% range of people that join a direct sales company hosted a party first. I was that 3% that did not host first. I went to a party and find out Tiffany too. She didn't even go to a party. Her mama messaged me. <laughs> okay. So you do want to um, do a strong closing. So your strong closing is where you've got everyone around at the end and you're trying to like wrap up everything. So Pampered Chef has this booking and recruiting slide. I think I did my booking side for you guys last time. I would do my recruiting side for you, but my bag is in the car. But it's the reverse side of that little flip down um, thing. So what I started doing, and we can upload the file for it, is I have a, um, we just did a recruiting I spy game. Have you guys seen this yet? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will briefly go over how it works because it kind of gets people to um, look in their little in their little um, recruiting brochures. Sorry, I have mounds of stuff. Ignore my files because we got this back. So you you basically would hand every single guest a taste the good life. Now, what I would typically do is sorry, this child is supposed to be in bed. Hello. Scoot. Mama, I've got, um, no, no. No, because um, Addison and um, Mackenzie are sleeping, so it's not locked. Jake might walk in. That's fine. Jake won't walk in. He's not allowed in my room. Sorry. <laughs> so this is some word choices that you can use. Um, this is what I say now because of Julie Aldridge, so Jennifer, feel free to steal, um, or whoever. So I always hold this up at the very beginning of my show, and I say, you know, I'm going to make sure that each of you goes home with some information on our business. So be thinking about if you want to keep this information for yourself or pass it to a friend. Very non-threatening. Ask that question when you're in front of your cooking shows. Those of you who do virtual parties, find another way to insert all of this information. Then when you play this game, say, okay, I'm going to pass out this information that I promised you. And we're going to play a really fun game called I Spy. And how many of you, by a show of hands, have played I Spy with your kids, with your nieces, with your nephews? Typically, everyone's going to raise their hand. And you're going to say, okay, well, this is a really fun game, except we're going to do it Pampered Chef style. So I'm going to ask you questions, and then you need to find the answers. And all the answers are located somewhere in this brochure and be the first one to yell their answer out. So it's simple questions like, what's the name of our company? Easy one, starts them off, Pampered Chef. That's easy. So then you get into some tougher questions like how many shows would you have to do a month to replace a full-time income? So then they'd have to look on the back for the career track to see how much money they could make to replace a full-time income. So we'll post all those questions because it's just a really fun way. The game takes less than five minutes to do at the end of your show. And then like Bobby Lynn said at our training last night was when you get done with the questions that are on the paper, just say, are there any questions that you have that I did not answer? And then you want to go into your story, and I want to say your little story. <laughs> you know, you want to go less than two minutes. I would even say less than a minute is fine. And I used to say, this used to be my story, and then I'll tell you how I changed it. My story used to be, if I, I will take both of your butts. Sorry, Tourette's when you have kids. <laughs> okay, so... You can laugh at me, Jennifer. Totally fine. I will spank their butts in front of you, and you can just call whoever you want. <laughs> With a belt. <laughs> That's how I roll in this house. Um, okay, so you can actually – my story used to be, you know, so um, – you know, I've been with the company for almost five years, and in that time, uh, we've, my husband and I have been able to pay off all of our credit card debt, over $15,000 in credit card debt. We paid off our vehicles early, and for the first time in our marriage, we have a savings account, so that's kind of a big deal. And so far, my has sent me on five all-expense vacations, so if you think I worked a lot tonight, feel free to join me, because you can totally do this better than me. And I'll usually tease like that, but my little story is all about me. And then they're just going, oh, good job, Christina. Good for you. So when I, Julie Aldridge from Home Office came to observe one of my shows, and she said to me, you know, something that you could say, instead of telling them your story where they're saying, good for you, Christina, change the words. Still tell your story, but change it like this. So instead of saying all that I would say, I would, I would start like this. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about Pampered Chef, but really quickly, I want you to just imagine with me. Imagine what your life would look like if you were credit card debt free. Imagine what it would feel like to be able to take your husband or a significant other on an all-expense paid vacation every year just for doing a job well done. 
what would that look like? You know, would you be able to have a little bit more fun? Uh, imagine what it would look like to um, pay for all of your Christmas cash and not have to put a single thing on a credit card. You know, what would that, what would that do for your family? And then you're getting them to think and uh, think about them instead of you in their story. And then just bring it up and say, well, those are just some of the things that Pampered Chef has allowed me to do for my family. So if you think you might want some information about this or, you know, you just want to check us out, let me know. I'd love to answer any of your questions. Keep it very, very simple. So um, there is also this 24-hour script. Let me get back to my little show up training events. And I will share my screen if it actually launches from the port it's supposed to launch from. When you go back through that training and events and home office training 2015 and back through our director bound, there sh you should be able to click the PDF that is the 24-hour call that is specifically for call number four, which is the call we're on today for uh, recruit for, um, and it's pulling it up. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let me share my screen with you again. Okay, so this call script is right here. So it's under the 24-hour call, and it's, you know, you can, most people do this the day after booking their show. Um, but these are some great word choices. So if this sounds very canned and scripted to you, you can read over this, take out all the stuff that sounds canned, make it your own. But if you're saying, hi, Bobby Lynn, this is Christina from The Pampered Chef. I thought I'd give you, and I usually would interject here, do you have a minute to talk? You always want to get permission first. They don't put it in here, but I always want to ask permission. So this is Christina Epperson from The Pampered Chef. Do you have a minute to talk? And if Bobby Lynn says, oh, yeah, that's fine. I say, well, I just wanted to give you a real quick call to say thank you for booking your show with me. I know we are going to have so much fun at your party. So I just wanted to confirm that you booked for Monday night, May 9th at 7 p.m. Is that still correct? Yes. Sure, we'll go with that. Now, remember, the most important thing for you to do right now is to create your guest list. I would love to have that back in the next 48 hours so I can send out. We don't have many catalogs anymore. Scratch that. If you want to mail out postcards for them, offer that. If you don't want to mail postcards, maybe don't ask for their list. It's an expense you're going to have to pay. If you ask for it, you're, they're going to expect you to mail it out for them. Um, but we don't have many catalogs, so scratch that. That way, they, if they can't make it, they can place an order and you'll get credit for that. Would that work for you? 90% of the time, if you ask for it, then they will, um, then they'll usually give it to you or they'll say, you know what, I'm good. Can we just set it up on Facebook? If you can get your addresses, they usually don't cancel their party because you've already done all the work. Um, and I always say, and you usually want to call and personally invite them before we send out that invitation because so many people get over, and this is me verbatim, so I'm not, not like reading this off the script. This is my own. April's got some noise going on over there. So, me? It was moving yourself. Um, <laughs> I, I usually will make this my own. So I'll say, you know, um, you know, I, I always encourage my host to call and actually talk to their, the people that they want to come to their party in person or if you catch them in person or over the phone, because that's going to mean a lot more to them than a text or a Facebook message. Um, Facebook and text are great for reminders, but you know, we always want to make sure we have more people there. Uh, because we're going to get you as much free stuff as possible. And then I would go, well, you know, Bobby Lynn, I know I mentioned yesterday that I have not been able to get you out of my mind. I think you would be a great consultant with the Pampered Chef. And it would be so much fun to have you on my team. Because, again, I'm making this mine. I would not say it would be terrific. I would love to get together with you for a, I don't know, I don't drink coffee, for a cup of coffee and tell you some information and tell you a little bit about our company. What would, would you have some time for that? If she says no, then you say, you know, that's fine. I'm going to come do all do your party for you. Um, if you decide at any point in time that you want to do this, I'll be more than happy to do that show for you to get you off to a great start. That's my words because I have no problem going and doing a show to help a new team member out because it ultimately it helps me as well. Um, so it gives you another script if you're not if they did not book a show, but you're giving them information about the business. You take out all of that information in the middle about the, about the um show and when they're going to get together and you want to strictly just talk on that morning after call of you know Bobby Lynn I had so much fun with you last night at April's party and I know it sounds kind of creepy but I have been, I have not been able to stop thinking about you since last night I just know you would be so great at this have you ever thought about doing something like Pampered Chef 
And if she goes, you know, I really haven't thought about it, I would say something like, well, you know what, I really think you should think about it because, you know, I know we didn't book a party yet, but I really would love for you to come see what I do again so that you can see if this is something that you might want to do. Um, so you want to practice your recruiting messages. You know, if you have if you have someone in your area that does have team members that's pretty strong at recruiting, find time to go and observe shows. Um, if you are not local to the area, but you have a local director that you can tap into, call them up, message them on Facebook. Hey, I'm doing this director bound program, and I would love to come observe one of your shows. And then that is going to give you an opportunity to see what they do to maybe hear what they say, because you might hear something, you know, what is the saying that you have to hear something like seven times before you've actually heard it? Somewhere, some crazy <laughs> odd number like that. So you might have to hear something. I had, and I'll just give you a, we got six minutes, I'll give you a true story. Um, I did a Pampered Chef party in Lakeland, and I, at the time I lived in Ocala, so it was like a three and a half hour trek. But I did it for a college girlfriend, went to her house, and I booked four shows from that party. I couldn't get anyone to sign up to do the shows. So I did four shows with that group over the next five months. So I was in Lakeland like once a month for four months, <laughs> just trying to get these, someone to sign up at this show. And at every single show, there was this one girl on there, Brandy. She came to all the shows. She even used to sell Pampered Chef years and years, years ago and knew all this stuff. And then it wasn't until show number four that I was at that she looks at me and she goes, you know, I just now heard you say that you've paid off like all of your credit card debt. <laughs> and you've probably said that at every show, haven't you? And I said, oh yeah, I say it at every show. She goes, I need to do something like that. So she signed up. And now it took me seeing her four months in a row, <laughs> once a month, to be able to, um, to be able to get her to, to hear what I was saying. So you might not get them right away, but if you're informing, you're letting, you're creating interest, you're having fun at your shows, you're letting them really see that you're having fun at your shows. Um, when you're inviting them to learn more information, something fun that I do that you are welcome to steal is if you use the drawing slips at your shows, um, this is something that I do, and this one's written on, so ignore it. But at, on the drawing slips, I use this as a fun way to kind of get some in particular information. So I, when I'm handing this out, I say, now the top information is all very important for for your warranties on your products, so make sure to fill that out as completely as possible. Down here at the bottom, it's gonna ask you some questions, and I always, I say this at every show. If you check nothing, I'm gonna call you for everything. And then I go into the first question's gonna ask if you wanna earn additional income. That's doing what I do, and I then I say, and no means no, not even if my kids had no shoes. Yes or maybe means you've got me curious, I'd like to take home some information, no strings attached. And then I usually say, and trust me, I do not have time to chase you all over town. I will get you some information. I will follow up with you, and we can just see if it, this could work. And then I go into the rest of it. But they usually always chuckle at the no means no, not even if my kids had no shoes, because that's just something that you don't want to expect. So, um, but, then, but then even then, I'm not looking at this card when they actually come and they sit in front of me. I'm going to still ask them when they're in front of me, you know, we had so much fun tonight. Have you thought about doing something like this? I would love to have you on our team. And if they say no, I say, well, that's okay. I do love referrals. So if you want to take this information and pass it to a friend, and they call me and say, you know, Bobby Lynn gave me your information, and I would love to talk to you more about Pampered Chef, then I, loved, I would love to send you a thank you gift. So please make sure if you pass it on that they know to mention your name when they talk to me. That is a great way to get referrals. I just had one of my good customers refer her coworker to me today. So this can definitely work for you. Um, and then you kind of go, go from there. So you wanna be offering the business opportunity to every single person at checkout. Those of you who are doing online shows, um, you want to be asking, making phone calls to those online orders and saying thank you for your order. I know this is an online party, but I wanted to have an opportunity to ask you if you'd ever thought about doing something like this. You know, there's a lot of our consultants who just do virtual parties. Would that be interesting to you? If they say no, that's fine. Just wanted to be able to ask you since I know we're all we're doing this whole thing online. And if they say something like, oh my gosh, yeah, I never thought about that. Give them more information, move on. So then also, you know, ask them about hosting. When you do go take the time to call them, uh, 
after they place an order, it means more for them that someone called them because how many of you have done an online, been an attendee at an online show, bought something, and never heard from the person? All the time. I buy from Jamberry, from 31, whoever doing an online party, I'll buy something typically if I need it. But I've never heard from any of those consultants. Thanking me for my order, asking me if I needed anything else, asking me if I'd be interested in hosting my own show. So our job title is consultants. <laughs> so who are you consulting? <laughs> Consult them, ask them what they need. And um, so that's the inform and invite. Does anyone have any questions? I know we've got like two minutes since I started late. So I want something twice. We will post the iSpy recruiting game. Um, if you need the call scripts for the 24 hour call that is on Consultants Corner under that home office training events, um, under news and events, then training events, home office training events 2015. Your homework before we talk again in two weeks, and I'm doing that call too. Um, before we meet again in two weeks, is to do that, listen to that top recruiters tell all. And I want you to come prepared with one or two things that you loved hearing from our top leaders um, with in regards to recruiting. When we talk again in two weeks, we'll be doing the simple interview. Um, and because we are all over, we are not doing this as an actual meeting live we are doing this at a virtual meeting live I do recommend we do it in an in-person session but I can't afford to fly you all here so you're stuck with us online uh, so we will be talking about how to do an actual interview um, with your potential consultant so between now and then be thinking of who you can inform who you can invite and we got a minute to go so I'm sneaking out bye guys bye He's gonna cut us off anyways sorry if I talk fast <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.